A nearly 58 year old homicide investigation finally came to a close this morning inside of a Springfield courtroom when Donald Mars changed his plea to guilty. 22 News reporter Heath Kelb is live in Springfield where he has been covering this case all day long, Heath. Yeah, exactly, Nick. For one local family, today has certainly brought back some really difficult memories, but at least they now have some solace for knowing who took Betty Lou Zukowski's life all the way back in 1966. Now, 10-year-old Betty Lou Zukowski was last seen alive, leaving her home on Front Street in Chicopee on the evening of May 26, 1966. She had left home after telling her mother she had received a call from one of her friends, but Betty Lou never came home, and four days later, her body was found in the Westfield River. The case remained unsolved for over five decades until finally in 2022, the then 73-year-old Donald Mars was arrested. He initially pleaded not guilty to Zugowski's murder until this morning when the sickly and distraught man changed his plea to guilty to a charge of manslaughter. While neither solving this case nor any punishment of the perpetrator will give Betty Lou a chance to live the life that she so deserved, I hope that today re represents a significant step for her family in their mourning and how they are able to memorialize her so many years later. And it was an emotional courtroom with two of Zukowski's cousins in attendance with a message from the family today that Betty Lou's death caused decades of pain, but now they at least have some solace knowing who is responsible. Now, Mars's guilty plea was accepted by a Hampton County Superior Judge and is for two and a half years with another two years of probation, and he accepted a plea as a level three sex offender. Working for you live in Springfield, I'm Heath Kalb, 22 News.